Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone! Today I have a special treat for you guys. I am using a conditioner and it is the new Eden Essentials Citrus Fusion Conditioner. So I wanted to come on and review this. I saw this on Instagram and I was like, I have to try it. I remember I told you guys that I did like Eden, but the original line just kind of had a lot of polyquats and stuff. This is basically a very simplified, pared down version of the Eden Essentials. So it was definitely interesting to me. I definitely wanted to pick it up. Again, I was waiting for Sally's to have that sale and they did. They had a two for three sale. I was open to trying all of these, but I really didn't want another butter. Like I have too many butters in my stash that I am not using. So I decided not to get that. And then the mousse, it said soft hole and I haven't really used mousses yet. I think I mentioned that in another video as well. So I didn't really want to go there yet either. I do have a mousse from Shea Moisture to try and you know if that works well maybe I might buy more mousses but you know I left it alone for now. So without the butter and the mousse there was a refreshing spirit I also got and then I got this conditioner. Since I got it at Sally's and my Sally's is super annoying they have the ingredients kind of blacked out. I scraped it off for this one but I still don't know if you can really see it. <laughs> so I'm gonna read it to you. <laughs> but basically water Settle alcohol, sterile alcohol, coconut oil, shea butter, glycerin. So glycerin is pretty high up. Then it has a few, I wouldn't say chemicals exactly, but you know, it has like glycerin, delorate, and ceterit 20, and fragrance. Then it has some acai fruit extract, citrus extract, orange peel, and lime. And that's what it smells like, so I'll get into that. It smells amazing, I'll get into that. Um, and it has some protein, some keno protein and kelp. I have some chia oil, aloe vera juice, which is kind of pretty far down the bottom, castor seed oil, honey, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, and it has some keratin, and citric acid and BTMS, again, kind of far down at the bottom for a conditioner. Centrimonium chloride, dehydrotic acid, and benzyl alcohol. So the high points of this, the conditioner does say smooth and strengthen, and you can see that it does have proteins in there but the proteins are far down so I wouldn't necessarily use this as a protein treatment but I can see okay it technically has some protein in there it can give you a little boost that's good and it's relatively clean I didn't see anything in there that I any ingredients in there that I totally wouldn't use so you know that's also good I'm trying to remember how much the price was I'll, I'll put it up up top but I got these like two for three at size I ended up getting two conditioners and the spray which I'll show you in a bit, although I haven't opened it yet. The water and the fatty alcohols are pretty basic. Coconut oil, shea butter, pretty basic. But then it has the lime fruit and the orange peel, which I like. You know, I always like a little fruit extract. It has the orange peel and the lime fruit for that. I always like a little bit of honey, which is in there. And a little protein never hurt nobody. I'm ultra low porosity, but I recognize that protein can actually help you with moisture. You just have to not use too much. So I like the location of this protein for a moisturizing conditioner. This is the spray that I got and the ingredients are pretty similar to the conditioner actually so I won't necessarily go into them but pretty much everything in the conditioner is in the spray and vice versa probably with just some more water and maybe this chamomile flower I'm not sure it's in the conditioner again thank you Sally's so yeah but pretty similar I haven't opened it yet but it looks technically open so I probably could <laughs> Give it a spray and see what I think. <laughs> it smells the same as the conditioner, which is good. But yeah, I can't really give you a spray review on top. But you saw how that went on. It went on okay, but I'm a little worried about the shea butter because me shea butter and sprays don't really work well for me. Um, the Jane Carter sprays it tends to kind of leave build up on my hair. So why did I buy it? You might ask. <laughs> the shea butter is pretty low down, and the other ingredients, you know, look interesting. It also has sea salt, which is also interesting in terms of like curl definition and stuff. I'll have to look on camera later to see if it like popped all of a sudden with the spray. But um, yeah, so the spray smells like the conditioner and they both smell amazing. To me, it smells like an orange lime sugar cookie. Like sometimes it smells orangey, sometimes it smells limey. So whichever one is your favorite, just pick. But yeah, orange lime sugar cookie. Orange cookie, lime cookie, whichever one you like better. It smells like that. And I love the scent. When I first smelled, I was like, mm, yes, you're talking. So, and I even commented on it on Instagram that I love the scent. So, and I like that the ingredients are pretty simple. Like, it's not completely 100% clean 
you know, Camille Rose, I guess, but it doesn't have anything too objectionable in here. This is something I'd be willing to buy if I loved it to death. Let me just tell you about the texture. So you will see how much I used in the demo. I didn't have that much left, but I had enough to show you that it is really thick. You can see that, come on. It is really thick. It's not really moving. Look how thick this is. It's thick. This goes on real thick. So those of us who need like a little bit of a water assist, <laughs> you know, like for me, water doesn't really go into my hair that much. I had to keep adding water to get my hair wet enough to work it in when I was working it in. So I like lighter products just because the water is already kind of built in, especially like leave-ins and conditioners and deep conditioners because if the water isn't built in, I have to add it. <laughs> my hair doesn't, like, doesn't get wet. So that was a bit of a struggle for me. The slip isn't the best, but it's good. It's not like so Curl slip, um, Kinky Curly Not Today slip, what else has great slip? She Scented slip. It's not like that, but it's better than Shea Moisture. So make of that what you will. <laughs> The slip is fine, like it's not the best, but it's not wow, but it's not like this thing has no slip either. So caution, I guess, if you need max slip and you know you buy things that have extra crazy slip. But if you can get by with just better than average, can work with this slip, then this is fine. And I think probably because it's so thick and it just doesn't have the slip stuff, you know, like the marshmallow root and the stuff that we look for for slip. That's why I share moisture stuff, a lot of it doesn't have that much slip either. But overall, it was really moisturizing. It did a good job defining my curls. I mean, you know, conditioner only, multi-day. I slept on this, I can't complain. And I have confidence I'll be able to wear it tomorrow too, so can't complain at all. The only hiccup for me would be how thick it was and the glycerin. But both of those aren't like complete deal breakers. So if I'm at Sally's and they have a two for three sale, and just the smell, <laughs> between how it works and the smell and the two for three sale, I might just get three conditioners, three of these. Eight ounces. I did go heavy on it and I did use pretty much the whole thing. <laughs> but I can see myself getting by with like maybe six ounces. I can see myself getting like a use and a half from this if I didn't go crazy. I definitely recommend it. I think you should check it out. Just for the smell if nothing else. I mean it is nice, it is moisturizing and everything. I'm, I do like the branding, I love the scent. This is really rich and creamy for people who like rich and creamy stuff. Very moisturizing, slip okay. And did a good job. Not a wash ago. So <laughs> I just did that again just because it felt so good. So yeah, I love the volume. Like I don't often have this much volume. So when I do, I'm like, yeah girl, yeah girl. <laughs> so another week of big hair. I think my hair was pretty big last week. So I'm a happy camper. So yeah. But anyways, <laughs> I don't want to just go on and on too much. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing this brand new product. <laughs> so definitely subscribe if you would like more of the same. Or just comment down below on the stuff you want to see because I'm pretty open. I mean, I'm here to share my journey with y'all. So whatever I'm doing, I'm showing. And if you want me to do something, I can probably do it. I have a lot of stuff coming up and... It's going to be really fun. I will do some more educational type videos as well. So join the team. <laughs> Just kind of come along for the ride and I will see you in the next one. Bye.